I want to kind of like challenge myself in 2024 to do a pretty strict low buy. Um, I really want to just buy things like mascara, eye primer, um, things that I need that I run out of like brow products and stuff and use products that I already have. <laughs> That's my biggest downfall. I love trying new things and I just don't need to. Um, I'm going to try every month to kind of challenge myself to pick one product from each category and try to use it up. Not use it up, but you know what I mean, like see how much of it I can use. So I have this little basket full of goodies for the month of January that I want to try to use more often um, and see the progress I can make. I have so much makeup I don't need to buy new makeup all the time and I need to use what I have. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum. I'm already almost done with this anyway, so that's why I picked it. Some of these products for January, I have a pretty good dent in them, so that's why I picked them, to just kind of get them out of the way first. <laughs> and I kind of want to go, based on the month, like wintry makeup, like pink cheeks, glowy skin, stuff like that for January and February, and then, you know, spring makeup, summer, whatever. But yeah, so I picked the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum, like I already told you. I am already almost done with this. I really like it. It's very good. For foundation, I'm just going to use the Fenty Skin Tint. This is the shade 3. I like this. Um, I have dry skin, but it doesn't look dry on my skin, like when I use it. So I really like it. It's kind of got like a light to medium coverage. But you can build it up. I'm also only allowing myself to get um, up to five eyeshadow palettes for the whole year. So I need to like choose wisely. And I want to make sure they're like maybe a brand I've never tried or just indie brands, you know, like Adept Cosmetics, Unearthly, stuff like that. I don't want to just be buying like random drugstore palettes that I'm never going to use. Or buying like every ColourPop palette that they come out with. <laughs> I have quite a few ColourPop palettes and I just don't need more. But I really fell in love with indie brands like this time last year. So I do want to try more brands. I have Fantasy Cosmetica like on my radar and Ensley Rain. Ensley Rain is expensive though, but it looks really nice. Do you guys have any makeup challenges for 2024? I know I see a lot of people trying to do a low buy or a no buy. And it's hard, especially when new stuff is always coming out. And you want to try to keep up. Like me, I don't do YouTube full time. Like I'm not even, <coughs> I don't know what's going on with my throat. I don't do YouTube. Like I just do it for fun sometimes. So for me to continuously buy new makeup to try all the time, it just doesn't make sense. Like I, this is not my job. I don't need to do that. For cream bronzer, I'm taking my Makeup by Mario, the skin enhancer. I already have quite a big dent in this. That's why I picked it. I have the shade light medium. I definitely would repurchase this. I really like it a lot. I also have a stick cream bronzer, but I do prefer this one. I made a comment on uh, Morgan Turner's newest video. It was like an, a Sephora haul that she had done. And I said, you know, I love watching Sephora hauls and stuff, but I'm on a total low buy for this year and like a bunch of people were agreeing with me. So I think that's like kind of trending right now to use up the stuff you have, which is nice because it is waste. No, I don't want to say wasteful because if it makes you happy, um, <laughs> buy it. Buy whatever you want by all means. I'm never going to tell you don't buy anything, but I just really want to see what I can do this year, like see the progress I can make in my favorite products. And like, <coughs> am I okay? And if I say something is my favorite, like if I have a favorite, why do I need to buy other stuff? You know, I don't. I just want to try to keep up with trends and other YouTubers. And like I said, this is not my job, so I don't need to keep up with them. And somebody else made a comment similar to that too. Like, I don't do this as a job, so why do I have like 30 foundations? I'm like, I, I get that because Anytime like a new blush comes out or a new kind of like glowy primer or concealer, I'm like, do I need that? 
just because everyone else is saying it's so good. And I'm like, I really don't. Like, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> For cream blush, I like I said, I want to do like pinky, like glowy cheeks. So I'm going to take the Patrick Ta She's a Doll. I, I like this. It's very pink. It's very bright. But it's so pretty. And I really like it. Um, I just don't always use it because <laughs> I have so many other blushes. And I've been really into the e.l.f liquid camo blushes lately that I haven't really been using anything else but I really want to focus on like pink wintry cheeks like the cold not you know cold girl kind of makeup I do think though like this year the pink cheeks might be out I think it's going to be more peachy <laughs> hopefully <laughs> I don't love pink blush I have this one and like maybe one other one so we'll see. But I think because the Pantone color of the year, I think it's peach fuzz for this year. So I really think we're going to see that a lot in makeup. For concealer, I'm just going to take my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. I have the shade um, Oatmeal. I do really like this. I've made quite a dent in this. Um, like I said, that's why I picked it for this. This is a really nice concealer cover up all my zits I've been getting lately for some reason. I don't know why my skin's freaking out. Well, it is really cold here right now. I think it's negative 17 right now. Like, that's the actual temperature and it feels like like negative 35. It's been ridiculous this past week. Like, we've been getting so much snow and it's been so cold. So I've really just been, you know, working but or you know playing with makeup reorganizing my makeup watching youtube doing nothing really it's just too cold to go anywhere i only have one loose powder and one pressed powder anyway so i'm just going to take my elf halo glow loose powder in the shade light and i'm just going to put it where i need it i was like packing powder on my face for some reason and then recently i'm like i'm just gonna like Put it where I need it and then maybe dust powder along my face instead of packing it on with a really dense brush because I'm so dry like I love the full glam you know makeup lasts for 24 hours kind of look but it just gets so cakey like especially around my eyebrows and stuff and my mouth like, I just don't need a big layer of powder <laughs> especially right now with this weather so I'm just kind of concentrating on where I put that concealer <clears throat> and then I'll go in with a bigger like fluffy brush with my pressed powder and just kind of dust it on my face instead of packing it on I did this the other day and my skin looked dewy and really pretty like all day I'm like why have I not <laughs> been doing this all the time it looked really pretty and then for pressed powder I still have my essence 16 hour cover and last this is my first one it's it's getting there. I know I can finish this up because it's the only powder I have. Um, I do have a backup of this though. And I'm just gonna kinda take this big fluffy brush from Morphe and just dust it instead of pack it on. Obviously I love makeup, but sometimes less is more as you get older. <laughs> Not that I'm old, I'm only 28. <laughs> but you know, I'm really dry and it's cold out, so I don't need to be packing on a bunch of powder like it's July. I love this powder. I did just see also on Ulta, they came out with more shades. Like they still don't have that many shades of this, which I'm like, it's 2024, let me come on. Um, but they did come out with deeper shades in the Essence um, Keep Me Covered, I think the concealer and the foundation so if you like that and you were wanting a, di a different shade i have them um for bronzer i'm just gonna pick the fenty one i really only have two powder bronzers well i have this one and then i have one from uh charlotte tilbury and then i have a duo from give beauty but i want to use up the fenty one i already have quite a big divot in this one anyway so i thought i'd use up this one first also because <clears throat> My Charlotte Tilbury one and my Give Beauty one, they're a little warmer than this one. And I don't need to look super bronzy in the winter. I mean, if you want to, you can, but for me personally, I don't want to. I'm more about blush and highlight in the winter. 
I think bronzer is probably my least favorite makeup product. <laughs> like I like cream bronzer and stuff and it's just, I like all makeup products that are a part of my routine, but I think bronzer is my least favorite. Bronzer and eyebrows, because eyebrows are just so boring to do. And I feel like I never get mine very even. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with the Patrick Ta blush. I'm gonna take it, well, I should use a fluffy brush. These are pigmented. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this Morphe Ariel brush and just dust this on. It's like the perfect wintry pink color. I've been really into the e.l.f. liquid camo blushes lately. They are very good. I don't even own my Rare Beauty or my Juvia's Place ones anymore. I gave them away <laughs> because I own almost every shade of the e.l.f. I'm waiting for Pinky Promise. That's the last one I need. I ordered it from Ulta. That was one of my exceptions for buying makeup uh, to have the whole collection. I ordered it from Ulta, but the weather's been so crazy that it couldn't be delivered on Thursday. So it should be here next week, hopefully. Um, not the end of the world, but yeah, they're really good. Total dupe for the Rare Beauty. For highlight, I have had this MAC palette for so long. Um, I have a huge dent though in that first shade right here. So I'm gonna use that. I know I can hit pan on this. It's a really pretty like light pink kind of highlight. I don't even know when I got this palette. It's been that long. <laughs> but it's still good, still kicking. Powders don't go bad as fast as liquids anyway. And it was expensive, I'm not just gonna <laughs> give it up. I'm gonna prime my eyes and do my eyebrows really quick off camera just because I only have one eye primer and one eyebrow pencil. Just a couple brow gels, I don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, for eyeshadow, um, I'm not just gonna do like one eyeshadow palette per month. I like to do different eye looks all the time and use different palettes every time I do my makeup. So I'm not gonna do that with like the eye shadow. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm just gonna try to use a different palette every time I do my makeup. So today I'm gonna use the Blend Bunny palette, the Sugar and Grunge. I've only used this twice, but I really like it. It's very cute, it's very grungy, very pastel, very 90s. It does say on the front, 24 shades for the 90s sweetheart. So I thought that was perfect. And I wanna do like maybe a pinky berry toned look. I've done a neutral look and then I've done a green look. Um, but yeah, I think I wanna do like a berry tone look today with this. I do really like Blend Bunny's formula. I will keep an eye out um, like for their new palettes this year cause maybe I'll get one of those for one of my five palettes. But yeah, I really like them. For my eyebrows, I just use my NYX um, brow pen in Ash Brown, and I use the Half Magic Grippy Brow Brow Gel. So I'm taking the shade Skater Girl, which reminds me of Avril Lavigne. I loved her so much when I was little. Blend Bunny has really nice mattes. I like their shimmers too, but their matte formula is really good. I'm just taking that under here too. And let me know if there are any other like indie brands that you like that I haven't tried. I've tried Adept Cosmetics, Unearthly, uh, Gourmand Girl, Sugar Drizzle. Did I say Nomad? <laughs> Nomad, Blend Bunny. Um, oh, Odin's Eye I really like. So let me know. Let me know if I should try Fantasy Cosmetica and Ensley Rain. I kind of want to keep an eye out for Glam Light this year as well. Just because I did so many good Halloween collections in 2024. I did hear a rumor that they were going to do a Halloween, like Michael Myers collection. And if you don't know me, Halloween is my favorite horror movie franchise, like of all time. I have multiple Michael Myers <laughs> things here, here in my beauty room, here in my bedroom. I've got t-shirts and I love him. Um, and I love Jamie Lee Curtis. So if they do a Halloween 
like original 1978 Halloween collection, I will be buying the entire thing. <laughs> That'll be one of my palettes that I buy. I'm taking the shade Flannel now, just on this fluffy Wet n Wild brush, just a little bit lighter than, or lighter, lower than where I put the first shade and just kind of blend that out. I wanted to do kind of pinky berry eyes to go with the blush. I was gonna do blue, but I'm like, eh, blue eyeshadow, <laughs> pink cheeks, I might start looking a little 80s, which is nothing wrong with that, but not the vibe I'm going for today. So besides makeup goals for 2024, what are you guys planning on doing in 2024? You know, do you have New Year's resolutions? Do you wanna eat better, go to the gym? What do you want to do? I want to read at least 25 books this year. I kind of struggled last year. I kind of fell off the reading wagon. So I want to try to read at least 25 books. I've already read two. And I think that's pretty good because it's only January 14th. Um, but yeah, I want to read more. I kind of want to try to learn like to do my hair just because I can hardly even straighten it. I don't even own a straightener or a curling iron or anything. So I kind of want to try to learn to like do my hair. Um, just make it look cute like when we go out or whatever. I'm like drawing a blank. I wrote down all of my things that I wanted to do this year but I'm like I can't remember any of them right now. I have it out in the living room. I like color coded it and highlighted everything, things I want to do. Oh, I also, I want to put money into savings every time I get paid. Um, I wasn't doing that for a while in 2023 just because I had various like doctor and dental bills that just kept punching me, man. <laughs> when I was down, like I would get paid and then I'd have to pay one of those. And then I was back down to square one. <laughs> Um, so I want to try to add at least $100 from every paycheck back to my savings account um, just to build that back up, just to have that little safety net. I'm taking the shade Drew. It's the darkest like berry shade out here. I also want to try to be nicer to myself. <laughs> um, I have a lot of anxiety and depression and I'm very critical of myself, you know, if one thing goes awry, I'm like, oh my god, you're so stupid. Or like, you know, why did you do that? You failed. I'm just really hard on myself for some reason. And I want to try to not be <laughs> because it's not healthy. And we all make mistakes. And I think constantly putting pressure on myself is what that fuels my anxiety pretty much. Um, so I just want to try to be nicer to myself, compliment myself more, uh, you know, praise myself more so, you know, you're doing great at work, you know, you, the eye look you did was beautiful, you know, just little silly things like that, but it'll help in the long run, I think, like with my anxieties and my self-confidence issues and whatnot, um, but yeah, I just want to be nicer to myself in general. <clears throat> I feel like I'm nicer to other people than I am to myself, which it's good to be a nice person. I like to compliment people and make people feel good about themselves. And I love complimenting people, but I'm so bad at complimenting myself. And I want to work on that. Cause you know, I'm, I'm not the best makeup artist, but well, I'm not a makeup artist, but like I'm not the best, but I'm pretty good and it makes me happy and I enjoy it and I'm not bad at it. I'm good at writing, I do good at my job, you know, I'm I'm good with animals. I need to I need to hype myself up more. <laughs> give myself the same energy and the same love that I give to other people. That shade's not as dark as I wanna. I think I'm gonna take the shade Moody. It's a really dark purple from the purple row. And also put that on the outer corner a little. There we go. But yeah, I think we could all stand to be nicer to ourselves and each other. I think people are so mean <laughs> on the internet. Like, I've refrained from even reading comments just on, like, Facebook articles because people are always just 
tearing people down and fighting with each other in the comments and just being mean and I'm like oh my like that's just what you think all the time like you're always angry you're always putting people down which I know they say like it says more about that person than anything but it's just it's sad I think we all need to be nicer to each other and ourselves and you know just be nice <laughs> It's not hard. It, it's free to be kind. I know that's so cliche, but it really is. Like, what do you get out of being mean to someone? Or leaving a hate comment or something, you know? Um, it's just sad <laughs> what this world is coming to. I really like that dark purple. That I put in the outer corner. Like, that was a good idea. Good job. <laughs> I'm not even going anywhere today. Whatever. This look is for the living room. I think we're gonna... Well, football's on. I don't care about football. I'll probably edit this video, play on my tablet, maybe read a bit. We're gonna make chili for dinner. All that good stuff. Hang out by the fireplace in the basement. Just chill. It's really cold. I just want to stay home. That's good. I'm going to take this brush again with nothing on it and just kind of buff everything out a little so it doesn't look super messy. <laughs> hmm, there's a couple colors that I could take. There's like a berry color, there's a purple. Let's take the berry. It's called Don't Speak. It's very pretty. And it just reminds me of Gwen Stefani. That's really pretty. Um, I like their mattes more than I like their shimmers. They're not bad, the shimmers, but they're just, you know, they're not anything crazy. They're not like adept shimmers, which I really like, or like Gourmand Girls shimmers are amazing. But I think adept has my favorite shimmer formula. Um, I'm gonna take just like a fluffy kind of flat brush like this, and I'm gonna take the shade Jawbreaker. It's like a periwinkle purple and just kind of dust that on the lid too because why not Ooh, that helped <laughs> that's pretty i didn't really mean to put it everywhere but whatever we're just having fun that's a really pretty shade i'm gonna also take it on the lower lash line too i've been doing that a lot lately I know so many people do that, <laughs> like I, it's not anything new, but I've just been putting my shimmer that I use on the lid, kind of on the lower lash line too. I feel like it really ties the eyes together. Um, it just looks, looks really pretty. And I don't mind the glitter fallout on my eyes, or on my cheeks. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Bubblegum for the inner corner. It's like a really light baby pink, like a ballet slipper pink. That's pretty. It's really pretty for the inner corner. Be a pretty highlighter too on your face. I like doing that sometimes too. Adding the inner corner or maybe the color you put on your lid as your uh, cheek highlight. Because then it just really ties it together. But yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. It's kind of messy, um, but I don't care. We're just having fun. I love purpley berry looks like this. I just did one the other day too with the Natasha Denona retro palette and the Charlotte Tilbury um, pillow talk, the eyes to mesmerize like cream shadow. So I don't know, I've been really liking my berry tones lately <laughs> for winter. I didn't pick an eyeliner just because I only have three, they're makeup forever. Um, I have the black, the brown and the white. It came in like a set of five uh, with two other shades, but um, I don't always do eyeliner. I might, maybe I'll do one today. I'll do the white one, I guess. But I didn't put it in the box just because I I don't always do eyeliner. It's not something I want to try to use up. But yeah, actually, I should set my face before I do that. Yeah. Um, I take, I take, <laughs> I picked the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Am I okay? I haven't done this in a long time. Um, this is the setting spray, not the primer. I don't like the primer. It's a little too sticky. I do like this though. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. That's again, why I picked it for this.
It has a nice mist. It's hydrating, but it locks your makeup in. It is a really, really good setting spray. I just have the mini because the full size is like $38 now. Like the prices are just, they're too damn high. <laughs> so I get minis now or I just stick with the drugstore. But I'm going to take the uh, all around white from Makeup Forever, I guess. Just kind of brighten up the waterline a bit. For mascara, this is the oldest one I have. I think I only have only four others. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, the chocolate brown one. Um, it's just the oldest one I have out of the five that I own. And I just want to kind of use it up. I love brown mascara. I like this formula a lot. Um, and yeah, it was only picked because <laughs> it was the oldest one I have. I like every mascara in my collection pretty equally, but mascara goes bad pretty fast. They say like, what, six months or so, like three to six months you should be switching them out. So I was really into brown mascara, like all of 2023. <laughs> and I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. I love brown mascara. I wish like anytime a brand came out with a new mascara that they had to make a brown too. So for lips, I did pick a liner, a lipstick, and a gloss. Um, this, for the lip liner, I picked the Everlasting Lip Liner Crayon and Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. It's KVD Vegan Beauty now. I've just had this for a long time, and it's one of my favorite colors, just in general, to wear. Um, I just know I can use it up. I need to stop using my Makeup Forever pencil so much. I was going to use those, but I'm like, no, you use them all the time. The point of this is to use stuff you don't always use. So I'm going to take this pencil and just line my lips. You could fill in your whole lip with this. This is really creamy. Um, it's almost too creamy now for me. I liked this back in the day when I bought it, but I prefer something a little more dry now. Like the Makeup Forever ones because they're kind of like a powdery finish, the Makeup Forever, and I really enjoy them. For lips, I have these. These are the L'Oreal oh, Glow Paradise Lip Gloss Lip Balm thingies. They're like a shiny lipstick. I have three colors. Um, I've got Nude Heaven, Mulberry Bliss, and Ecstatic Mulberry. I'm not going to use Ecstatic Mulberry. It's like a red. Um, but yeah, I, I really like both of these. Today I'm going to use Mulberry Bliss because I've been using Nude Heaven a lot. But these are just... A shiny lipstick and they're really pretty they do have kind of a perfumey scent though so if you don't like that you might not like these i wouldn't say it lingers but it's pretty strong for a lip product but i don't mind um i, I like the smell <laughs> i think it smells good and then i did pick a lip gloss just because I have so many. I picked the Fenty Gloss Bomb and Sweet Mouth. I do have a mini of this. Um, I really like this. It's just a baby pink with some shimmer. And I found it at Ulta. I didn't know they had minis. My hair looks crazy. I need to wash my hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, that this is the look. I really like it. It's just berry purpley tones for winter with a glossy nude lip and some pink cheeks. Um, but yeah, I really hope I can use up some of these products this year it would be really nice to try to do that and make room uh for more products in 2025 <laughs> hopefully but yeah i never want to encourage you guys to not buy makeup that you really want or to buy makeup that you don't need you know what i mean like i'm never going to tell you you need to go out and buy this or like stop spending money because it's your money it's not mine um but yeah this is just what works for me, I just want to try to use up some of my products, see what I can do, see the progress that I can make. I really have a good feeling about this, this challenge this year. But yeah, I'm going to pick new products every month. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film like a video using the products every month. Maybe I'll just kind of film like a short or something just showing the products I'm picking and maybe like a finished look at the end just because... It takes a lot of time for me to film a YouTube video. Like I said, this is not my job. I do have a full-time job and I don't always have time to do this, but yeah, I'm glad that I had the time to do this today. I'm glad I used up some of these products. I really, I think I can do it. I have faith in myself, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.